weather authority, meteorologist Ron Rose. Yeah. We're always talking about food, on camera, off camera. And we've got so much food we've already eaten today. Uh, We're still no, talking about food. And, and Merit's, Merit's, Merit's whipping up some more, too. Look at that. Uh, today's the 16th day of October. Um, yes. Wow, this is a long one. In a, in a survival situation. Is this like, you know, the revenant kind of a thing? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Cook things in water instead of fire. I guess if, if, after, after a disaster or something like that. Cook things in water instead of fire. This will help retain most nutri nutrients from anything you forage, hunt, or fish. So I guess you're out in the, living off the land or something like that. Well, what if you don't have trip. any water? If you're, I mean, you're out there in, in yeah. dire straits. Yeah, but, uh, but it's almost the most efficient way to share equally with someone in case you're not alone. So there you go. Uh, yeah, if I'm ever in a survival situation out in the uh, woods or something like that, there you go. Water, boil water, I guess. Cook it in uh, water. Uh, you still got to get a fire going on that. Yes, but you don't cook get, it over a fire. I, and, and and heaven help you if you don't have a match, because I can't. I, I, no matter how many Girl Scout, Boy Scouts can't start start one with a rock or, flint uh, or whatever. I've never been able to do it with like a flint, you know. Yeah, what I'm me saying? either, oh, Troy. Yeah. You could you yeah, start a fire work. with a? He doesn't said he absolutely could. Oh. He's making that up. He's totally making that up. Maybe a, if I had a magnifying glass and the sun was out, I could probably do it on a, yeah, I could probably do it. As we take a look at our Maldonado's Ripping and Siding Care, we used to do that to bugs. I'm not proud of myself. When we were little kids. Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't have done that when Angie was drinking. <laughs> that was almost a spit take right there. Uh, Maldonado's roofing and siding camera. Check it out. The traffic on the uh, twin bridges there. You can see southbound, northbound traffic. No problems whatsoever. Beautiful blue sky. Just a few clouds. Oh, that's a pretty cool little cloud. Just kind of hanging out by himself there uh, over Central City. I tell you what was hanging out over Central City this morning. It was the full hunter's moon. This is looking to the west. Of course, the moon, like the sun, rises in the east, but does it in the evening. Sets in the west. Does that in the morning, though. And it was setting here. You had a really pocket of fog right here on the other side of Highway 431, and you had the full Hunter's Moon uh, basically beaming down on the fog. It's a cool sight. Posted it on X, so if you want to check it out on my account there. Anyway, we take a look at our University Boulevard. We're starting to notice little pops of color. I really think we're going to have a good fall color season. We're going to find out over the next couple of weeks, but because we, I think we did have enough rain over summer. That last batch we had early August, we had quite a bit, well over an inch. I think that's hopefully satisfied the trees enough because we had a long sunny start and dry start to fall and that makes the difference right there for good color and we're starting to notice a little bit out there at USI and also looking off in the distance there from downtown on top of Fifth Third Bank. Right now the temperature 53 degrees, got a north-northeast wind at 6. Tomorrow at this time it's going to be more of a southeast wind and that's going to help to warm us up. But between now and then we are going to have another frost and we had some frost this morning but I think it's going to be a more widespread frost uh, tomorrow morning uh, because we're going to be seeing the temperature drop a little bit more here in Evansville and the wind is not going to be as big of a player. Not that it was a big player everywhere, but we did have a 7 mile per hour wind at 5 o'clock this morning. We had it in that 5 to 10 mile per hour range for the first couple of hours of the day when we would expect a little bit of frost anyway, but not the case uh, for a lot of us this morning. Now, temperature wise, all of us are in the 50s, but low to mid 50s. 51 degrees Lagodi as low as I see. 52 Jasper, 53 Santa Claus, 54 Tell City. I can stay on that side of the map. I'm doing okay. 55 degrees in Princeton. And I think that's as warm as we've got. Double nickel there in Princeton as well as Morganfield. It's 52 in Owensboro and 51 in Henderson. Check this out. This was uh, from Linda Burgess and she was going to check out the comet. That's another thing in the sky you could check out tonight. Basically between 630 and 730 is going to be your best bet. The sun is setting at 610. So about half an hour after it sets, look to the west, you got to look, <laughs> check that out, and you should be able to see the comet. It's going to look like a fuzzy star. You might be able to see a little bit of the tail, but at the same, it's not going to be shooting across the sky. But if you take a picture of it, like the northern lights, it actually enhances it a little bit more, and you should be able to see the tail on that. So anyway, Linda Burgess was out there going to check out the comet just before sunset, and she ran across this uh, rain shower here. Pretty cool. we got the curtains of rain. Uh, off in the distance there. Love that shot. Uh, that is from Centertown down in Ohio County. So thank you so much for that. And here's proof that there was some frost this morning, even though there was none, uh, at least not here at the station or in my neighborhood that I saw. I have a garage, so I didn't have to worry about it. But anyway, uh, Brian Steen, he was scraping frost this morning in Tell City. So it was a frosty morning for some. I think a lot of us are going to have the frost tomorrow morning. Live radar, nothing to show you here. We do see rainfall estimates from yesterday. Had two one hundredths of an inch of rain at the Evansville Airport. So kind of a pittance, but it's really the only chance of rain we've had this week uh, was yesterday. And look at this little pocket just north of Stanley in US 60 by the river. 
about three tenths of an inch. So about a quarter of an inch of rain is what we had there in Stanley. So outside of Owensboro to the west is where the heaviest of what little rain we had yesterday was. Clouds coming off the lake of Michigan. Not any rain though. There was some earlier, but yeah, really not expecting anything in the way of cloud cover, at least not much in the way of cloud cover. That's going to be more uh, to the east headed toward Louisville. For us though, we've got plenty of sunshine in store for today. 60 degrees for a high. Enjoy that with the chilly north northwest wind at 5 to 15 miles an hour. On the three degree guarantee yesterday Today I called for a high of 59, got up to 58. That works, and it works for Rosemary Craig of Owensboro. Congratulations, Rosemary. You've got yourself an umbrella courtesy of Ackerman Chiropractic. Come on by the station and pick it up, but wait until next week because Pam is on holiday uh, this week, so she'll be back next week when the temperatures are warmer to give you that umbrella. And we do have a chance of rain the next week, too. We're not seeing it the rest of this week, though. 60s uh, for highs over the next three days. There's that widespread frost tomorrow morning, but this weekend I think is going to be the perfect autumn weekend. We're going to have lows in the 40s, great for a campfire in the morning and in the evening, and then temperatures in the low to mid 70s for highs. So love that shot. Lovely. I got, a, I got a picture of that Of the double rainbow, too. really? Yes, I did. Scott Jago sent me that from downtown Owensboro. Look at that rainbow right there on the Blue Bridge. Looks like the pot of gold is on the Blue Bridge. I believe it is. And we got a pot of soup over here. Merit's here. <laughs> <laughs>